today's show. Some of the most heartfelt moments on Forgive or Forget happen when a guest walks to this door and finds out there's no one on the other side. Take a look. All right, Diana, let's open the door. Hey, Lindell, let's open the door. Oh, oh Lindell. Oh, On today's show, some of the guests who've experienced the pain of an empty door are back to give the same person they hope to see the last time one more chance to come through. Will they get the answers they so desperately want, or will they be disappointed all over again? Stay with us and find out. Our guests appear today not knowing if the person they're hoping to see will say, I forgive you, or forget it. Welcome to Forgive or Forget. And now the host of Forgive or Forget, Mother Love. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Forgive or Forget. Today we'll be giving former guests a second chance to see if someone in their life is behind the door because that same person disappointed them the last time they were here. Our first guest, Rob Mitchell, one of my favorites, sat on this stage a while back and insisted that his wife Michelle apologize for getting that baby's ears pierced. Take a look. Rob, let's open the door. Oh, I love you. husband knows that I will not apologize to him. Uh, this, is something, this is something I felt very strongly about. Uh, this is something that's been going on for generations. Women taking their little girls to the mall to have their ears done. And I did the same. Mm -mm. And she's so beautiful, and the, the, the earrings just enhanced her beauty even more. <laughs> Rob, you're back. What do you hope to accomplish today? I hope to receive... <laughs> I hope to receive the apology that I feel is rightfully mine. And I feel like my wife owes me an apology, and I deserve it. It's because, it's because that is my baby, too. And you don't just take somebody's baby out after discussing that you're not getting her ears pierced and just go behind your back and press the baby's ears. But what I say, go. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. What did I miss? I can't miss nothing on my own show. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why? What are you so upset about the fact that she got her ears pierced? Even though I have to make a little correction. Mm -hmm. Even though we haven't been going for generations to the mall. Mm -hmm. That's like she was talking like the mall was invented in the 1890s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, what are you so upset? And it's not like somebody's baby. This is her daughter. It's not just her getting the baby's ears pierced. My wife deprived me of giving my son his first haircut after waiting a whole year to cut the boy's hair. I come home from work and she done cut the boy's hair all off. I didn't even get to get my son his first haircut. Then the, then the stuff with the little girl, she take her out to the mall, she just act like she do what she want to do. I'm the boss. Last time, you said you were so upset mm -hmm. that first she went behind your back. So first of all, y'all see just how arrogant and egotistical he is. <laughs> you saw? A little bit. A, a little bit? Mm -hmm. Look, just somebody get bit. the boots. <laughs> <laughs> you said that mm -hmm. one of the biggest complaints were you couldn't, you didn't like the fact that you saw your baby fretting with her ears all yeah, the time. she's still pulling at her ears all the time. And she was still in pain. And she tugs at her ears every time she's sleepy, every time she irritated, every time she upset. It's it's like you can tell these earrings are just a foreign part of her body that don't belong there. Wait a minute. I knew you all were going to get robbed up with this one. So am I to understand that every time you do something with the boys, you, you both discuss it? Or you Most just do it? Time. Uh, Most, Most of the time. Most of the time. And it's, but then I don't take the boys out to get tattoos or take the boys out to get ears pierced and stuff. What about to go get them a pair of new sneakers or something? You have don't to get discuss them a pair. That? I don't discuss none of that. We just go. We just go buy the stuff, you know. So see, stuff like that, physical abnormalities that the wife is causing to the baby and this and that, I don't feel as though it was necessary. 
Oh, theory. Oh, wait. Oh, mother love. <laughs> Hold my hand. Hold my hand, because I'm finna go there. I'm finna go there. Wait a minute. Hey, I'm, hey, and what, one other what, thing. I'm getting ready to go there. Well, let me, I'm getting ready to go there. Okay. You holding on to me? Yeah, I'm holding on to you. Rob, <laughs> can I ask you a very personal question? Yes, ma'am, mother love. I knew it was coming. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> we getting ready to be here. We don't Because right you know there. what I'm getting ready to ask you. What you going to ask me? Rob, you've been circumcised. <laughs> like that because well, wait let, let, me, I, I, let me explain let me explain it to you real careful now mm -hmm. when you were a baby were you yes ma'am now when you were an infant your mother made the decision to have you circumcised mm -hmm. she felt this was her job and her right to make that decision mm -hmm. it probably was very painful Mm -hmm. You don't remember that pain. No. As a result, you are probably hygienically much cleaner. Mm -hmm. And we ain't gonna even go there with the other things you might be able to do. <laughs> so to say, to say that there's an abnormal procedure for her to get her ears pierced is like to say that your mama made an abnormal decision to make sure that you would be a clean man. That's why I'm going. Okay, okay, and on the same note, I might not have wanted to be circumcised. Okay, I might have minute. wanted more skin. Okay, wait a minute. She made the decision just like your daughter can make the decision to take those e earrings out of her ears when she gets old enough. It'll mm -hmm. close up. You know where I was going with it, and you know I'm right. <laughs> we sat down with Rob and helped him prepare a second videotape message for his wife, Michelle. Let's all take a look at that message as we see her watching it for the first time. Michelle. I still feel like you owe me an apology for piercing our baby daughter's ears without my permission. You went behind my back without my consent. You already knew how I felt about it. And yet and still, you go out against my wishes, pierced the baby's ears and brought her home like nothing ever happened. And when we were on the show, you used to be bullheaded. You didn't come through that door. And this and that, you didn't want to apologize. But today, I'm demanding an apology. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, shh. <laughs> You know I love you. I Don't you know that? I know that. But you know, and you know the drill. I know the oh, drill. Oh, you're about to find out for the second time. We gonna see? Go on over there, Rob. She'll be here this time. Now watch. She's gonna be here this time. Shh. Oh, Rob. Let's open the door. Open it. <laughs> this is so cold. Okay, what? Well, this is so cold. Wait. Shh. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this jaded audience. <laughs> Michelle didn't want to come through the door again, I Rob. I see. I see. But she once again, she has something she wants to say to you. We have that for you now. Okay. Hi, Rob. Here we are once again, and you're asking for an apology. Well, I'm sorry. I can't apologize to you. And since you didn't understand me the first time, well, this time I'm telling you, hell no. I'm not going to take Nyla to the mall to have her ears done. However, I will apologize for not telling you about the time that her ears got a little bit infected. Um, you remember the time that we lost the earring for a couple of days and her ears were kind of sore? Well, I went out and bought Neosporin and I never told you about it because I didn't want to go through the mm -hmm. whole ordeal of hearing like about Nyla's ears being pierced. But I will not apologize for taking my sweet daughter to the mall to have her ears done. You ain't eating tonight. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is so cold. That is the most stubborn, bull-headed woman I've ever run across and in my life. And you love her from the floor I love her to up. death. I love her to Thank death. you for sharing I your story with us, Thank Rob. You, Thank you, sir. I appreciate being here with you. We'll be right back. That is so cool.
begged her mom to walk through the door and give her seal of approval on her wedding. But her mom was a no-show. Will her mom leave her at the altar a second time? M-Drive was formulated for guys like me, for guys who crave more strength, endurance, drive, free testosterone, overall vitality. We find your prime with M-Drive. To learn more, visit mdriveformen.com. They're making a repeat trip to the door with every hope that the person who stood them up the first time will not do it twice. Our next guest, Lindell Johnson, was devastated when she first appeared on our show because her mom refused to come to the door and give her and agree to go to her wedding. Take a look. Okay, Lindell, let's open the door. <laughs> Lindell, oh, <laughs> oh, baby. Lindell, come on, sweetie, come on. Um, Lindell, I love you, and I almost would do anything for you, but this I cannot do. You and I have known all of the hardships you have been through, and you have put me through. And I don't want to go through this again, and I don't want you to put your children through this again, because they're getting older now, and they're not little children anymore, and they're getting to a difficult age. I ask you to wait till next year, and maybe things will change, and maybe I'll feel better about this. But right now, I cannot do this. If you can get married, then you have to do it without me, okay? I love you, and I hope you still will love me in spite of this. Lindell, thanks for joining us again. What's happened since the last show? Well, my love, since the last show, I had to postpone my wedding. Um, the invitation was printed up, and I just canceled it because I felt that I couldn't do it without my mother. And there was other, a few other reasons why I postponed it, but that was mostly reason, because she wouldn't come. And at the last show, she said that if I cancel it to next year, maybe she would consider coming. So me and my fiancé spoke about it, and we said we would wait till next year. We waited this long, maybe we could wait a little longer. But recently we've been speaking, me and my mother, and she still says she will not come to my wedding. She says she loves my fiance, she cares about him. It's just that we're not ready, we have too many children, and he has outside children. And how many outside children does he have? He has six. And how many do you have? I have four. That's ten, that's a heap of people to feed. But that's, that's, this is, this is your decision. Yes. And, and I, we all want our mothers to be at our weddings. Yes. But this is your life. You are an adult. This is your decision. You have to live with He's him. He's really good with my children, and I love him a lot. And I want my mother's support. But if she can't support me, I'm just going to go and get married like he wants me to. Just elope and do it. Well, we got together with Lindell and helped her prepare another videotape message for her mom, Sylvia. Let's all take a look at that message as we see Sylvia watching it for the first time. Hi, Mom. The last time I was here, I was pleading for you to come to my wedding, but you refused. When you didn't come through that door, I felt like a motherless child. For that and other reasons, I postponed my wedding till next year because you said you would support me if I changed the wedding date to next year. Me and Butch really want your support. I really love Butch, Ma, and I really want to be his wife. And if you don't be there that day, I really will be upset and hurt. Me and Butch want you to be there. And I love you, Mom, and I hope you'll be at that door. Lindell, your mom has heard your second demand for her to come to your wedding. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll find out if she's going to meet your demand this time. We'll be right back. Lindell says she's got every right to expect her own mom to show up at her wedding. But so far, her mom says no way. Has she changed her mind? Find out next. 6350. If you use catheters, I have some great news. Medicare and most private insurance now cover up to 200 a month. And these new catheters, they're softer, they're more gentle, and they're much easier to use. So call Comfort Medical today. 
They make it simple. They bill Medicare and private insurance directly. And they deliver your supplies right to your door for free. Call Comfort Medical today at 800-417-0965. Call now. We're back talking with Lindell Johnson. She walked through the door the last time she was here and found it to be empty. She had hoped that her mom, Sylvia, would be on the other side, ready to tell her that she would come to her wedding. But that didn't happen. Lindell, wait a minute, before I send you to the door, just hypothetically speaking, say this time your mother's on the other side of the door. Do you understand what she's saying? If yeah. she comes through that door, she's doing it because she doesn't, because she, she wants to do this for you. Mm -hmm. But you know, the biggest thing is, she doesn't want to see her baby her. Yeah. I don't care if you're 912 years old, you're still your mama's baby. I know. But she has to keep the faith like I do in God. All right, well. that's all. Go take your place in front of the door and let's see what happens this time. All right, Lindell Johnson, let's open that door. Well, I got to break you off a little something, something this time because you're a lot tougher this time. Now, Linda, your mom refused to come through the door for the second time. But we did make arrangements to have a live backstage with us. Sylvia? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. What do you want to say to your daughter? Lindell, I love you. But I'm sorry, I just can't see that this uh, marriage you're about Today, to want to... Today, this. Let's watch TV. This is a special announcement for anyone in America currently faced with overwhelming financial pressures due to back taxes owed to the IRS or the state. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or other state agencies, tax resolution programs are now available that may help you deal with these problems and get your life back on track. If you currently owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, if you're receiving collection letters from the IRS or a state tax agency, if you're being threatened with wage garnishment or a bank levy, or if you need to file years of late returns, well, time is not on your side. Take the first step toward resolution of these problems today by calling the Tax Relief Helpline now. This is the perfect time to build a plan that can get your life back on track. So make the call to the Tax Relief Helpline now. The call is toll-free from anywhere in the United States. Don't wait. Call now. I want to thank all of our guests and thank you for joining us today. If someone in your life has refused to step up and apologize to you for something they've done, be stubborn about it, just like the guest on today's show. Don't let them give you an empty door without fighting for the apology you think you deserve. Call us here at Forgive or Forget. I'm Mother Love. Never underestimate the power of forgiveness. Yay!